Information from the Ukrainian Frontline Day 638 Over the past day, 74 combat engagements took place. In the Kupiansk sector, the enemy conducted assault operations in the vicinity of Sinkivka, northeast of Petropavlivka and Ivanivka in Kharkiv region, where the defense forces repelled 12 attacks. The occupants did not conduct any offensive assault actions in the Bakhmut sector. In turn, the Ukrainian defense forces continue assault operations south of Bakhmut in Donetsk region, inflicting losses in manpower and equipment on the enemy and consolidating their positions. In the Avdiivka sector, the invaders continue to try to surround Avdiivka, but Ukrainian soldiers are holding steadfast, inflicting significant losses on the enemy. The enemy's offensive to the east of Novobakhmutivka, north of Lastakino, Avdiivka and Pervomaysk in Donetsk region was unsuccessful, where the defense forces repelled 30 attacks. At the same time, the Ukrainian defense forces continue to conduct offensive operations in the Melitopol sector, inflicting losses in manpower and equipment on the occupation forces and exhausting the enemy along the entire front line. In the Kherson sector, Ukrainian troops continue to hold their positions on the left bank of the Dnipro River, continue to conduct counter-battery combat, and inflict fire on the enemy's rear. During the day, the aviation of the defense forces struck 11 areas of concentration of enemy personnel, weapons, and military equipment. Missile troops hit 13 areas of concentration of personnel, weapons, and military equipment, a command post, an air defense facility for artillery pieces and an ammunition depot. In a revelation from a documentary produced by One Plus One titled Crimean Bridge Encore SSU, the Security Service of Ukraine SSU strategically utilized information gleaned from Russians on social media platforms in its preparations for potential attacks on the Crimean Bridge. According to a counterintelligence officer named Yenit, much of the intelligence gathered for the operation was sourced from open channels, including a video recorded by a Russian woman leisurely cruising near the bridge on a yacht. This footage provided crucial insights into the internal structures of the bridge's arch, guiding the SSU on the precise point for an attack to maximize damage. Counterintelligence officer Chrome emphasized the significance of information shared by the public, stating, Every Russian with a smartphone is our best friend, comrade, and client, highlighting the agency's reliance on open-source intelligence obtained from social media to monitor activities both inside Russia and in the occupied territories. Subscribe to our channel so you can follow the latest events from Ukraine. Your support helps us grow and spread awareness to a larger audience. You can also support us by following the link in the video description.